Okay. Hey guys, it's Ryan from Gravitational Films, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make an explosion in Adobe After Effects. This is what I'm going to be showing you how to make. It's a video on my tutorial, um, on, my, on my channel called Advanced Explosion Made in Adobe After Effects. It's pretty simple. Game. You got the smoke, fire, boom, and the dust shockwave type thing, and light on the ground. That's what we're going to make making. I, I guess you guys could really use a tutorial on it. So today you're going to be needing uh, a thing called Adobe, uh, of course you're going to be no needing Adobe After Effects CS4, and then I'm going to be putting my sound in Sony Vegas Season 10, and then you're also going to need Action Essentials by Video Copilot, you can buy from them for $100, pretty good price. And then w once you get your uh, layers all on, I need to plug in my camera to get my footage, I'm going to pause the video real quick. Anyways. What we're going to do is we're going to go up into it. Adobe After Effects. You're going to open it. You're going to want to import your footage through going to File and clicking Import. And you're going to find your footage. Most likely you'll be doing a video. And oh, maybe I haven't. No, those are my completed films that I made. Let's see. Explosion backgrounds. Okay, first you're going to import all your footage which I have set up into one folder so I don't have to go through each folder and try to find each and every one. I use big fire two, a big fire, two big fires, a charge, a two one smoke, a dust wave, two explosions, and a fire. Well two three fires I mean. It's three fires. Okay, import, click open. Multiple islands located into the same Import multiple files and then we'll take our footage. Okay, you can choose multiple islands only if they're located. They are you retard? Uh, I think it's because the dust wave actually created a shortcut for that. So I'm pretty stupid. And then let's import that. Yeah, let's just import that. And then done. And then we have our layers. And we're going to start out by going to when we want our bang to happen, maybe around three seconds. And we're going to go. We're going to take our charge, which is going to be the thing that starts off the explosion, and move it till it's around here. And I usually, during the day, I usually like to set my things to add so that they're bright. So it's like, doof, doof, doof. Obviously, I'm going to color correct it, like I forgot to do in my original one. That's just a charge to set off the explosion. We're also going to want to go to Layers, New, Solid, Create a, create a Yellow Solid. Click OK. Then we're going to take our Eclipse tool and then make a circle that looks like it can be placed down like that around that place it right here put it underneath our charge so it's above then we're going to press F to go into feather and then feather it really good then we're going to press T for opacity and bring down the opacity so that way we have our light coming off of the ground from the explosion like that and then after that we go to, once we get to a point where we want to have the explosion completely happen, we're going to take which ex uh, one of our explosions and put it on top of the layer and move it all the way over here. Technically, just mixing a bunch of different files without any the charge of it, the charges on top, and set this to add so that's bright. Then we have the beginning of the explosion. Maybe I should move the yellow solid down like that. And then we have the beginning of the explosion. So, okay, we're all we're obviously going to press F to mat to, uh, no T for opacity. And then we're going to when the explosion starts, we're going to click on the stopwatch, and then bring the opacity all the way down to zero, and then move forward a couple of frames, and then bring it up a little bit more, right around that. And up forward until it's like complete and then we'll go up a little bit more and then we have a animated light that comes on 
with the explosion. You might want to add flickers, but it's pretty straightforward from there. You might want to make it flicker, with make it get brighter as the explosion gets more intense and onward. And then, here we go. That's the explosion so far. And it's looking okay so far. And then I took another explosion, just because I can. And let's make it match up. Maybe all the way over here. Forward, forward, forward match it up maybe with the other explosives see where is this one starting uh, that one needs to be set to add definitely so that blends in with those maybe move it over here so that it starts off like that and then we have those explosions layers Maybe we should speed up this explosion because it seems like it's going a little bit too slow. Maybe make it a little bit bigger, I suppose. Yeah. Uh, make it go fat. Yeah, I say we make it bigger. And there. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, and a boom. And then our explosion. I think this one's going to turn out a little bit better. And then I'm going to duplicate the this explosion three times so that it gives it a little bit more bright. Maybe turn the middle one to uh, see which one should it be. I say normal maybe to make it add like a little orange to it so that it goes like that. then somewhere on to this right here we're going to put our dark smoke underneath all these explosions right about right here place it right there so that we're obviously since the smoke is really slow we're going to go to we're going to select dark smoke go to effect time and then we're going to go to time warp and we're going to change the speed of the smoke up really high so that's faster and then we're also going to make it bigger like a little bit higher so it doesn't have that strange cutoff right there by the way effects like these will take forever to render just a little quote in mind and as the explosion is going up you're you'll have flames that are producing a dark smoke because obviously since it's on a dry grass I hear that it's going to be dark. <laughs> and after that, you might want to control D and duplicate it, bring it up to here on the top layer and press, uh, not F for feather, I mean T, T for transparency, opacity. God, string going real slow. And then move it down and make it transparent. Say so you got a darker uh, over smoke. Maybe we can duplicate it again in place like one over. Sorry, Camtasia Studios really lagging me. Okay. What the? Oh, Camtasia, how we all love you. You suck balls and you should go die. Oh, I'm in the wrong tool. Just use Hypercam. Maybe offset them a little bit, I assume. So they are playing different times. So. Then we're going to take the pen tool and then just make a mask on the bottom. To make it so load load there and then since we got our mask we're going to feather it and I hate it when this happens but for some reason it doesn't feather it but you guys can get it eventually it gets really annoying yeah oh I know how I know 
Never mind. But yeah, you're gonna want to put some smoke over it to make it look like there's fire being produced. And then we only got our fires to add onto this. You're gonna want to move the smoke back or make it be make the transparency like time it all the way. I don't really want to waste time in this tutorial on how to do that. You guys it's easy, you guys will figure it out. God God Screw you, Camtasia. Let me try exiting out of all this crap. And come on. It's all jacked up. There we go. I'm just gonna delete this, it looks bad. Oh, screw you, Camtasia. Screw you. Then uh somewhere in here we're going to add our big fires underneath everything and change them to add as well big fire a little bit and let's find out where that is positioned I screw cam taste ah problem with making uh, explosions is that they lag really bad let's see big fire let's move it around oh my god cam taste are you freaking maybe duplicate that Put it over the smoke so that the smoke's hidden behind it. And then we're also going to add uh, this fire to it. Make it smaller, of course. And um, I almost forgot, we also need to add the dust wave that's coming off from it. How long is this video so far? 14 minutes. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. And then we're also going to add this fire onto it. Oh yeah, I forgot. I already passed that thing where I can upload longer than 15 minutes. I'm happy. Sorry for this going to be a long tutorial, guys. I am kind of pissed right now because Camtasia is so stupid. Let's see, we're gonna want to go when the explosion's over. Actually, no, that actually looks pretty good where the fires are positioned. It's actually not that bad, and my voice just cracked. Then we're also going to on top of um except for every explode. No, yeah, I need to be on top of the explosions. Let's just put it on top. We're going to need a dust wave that's going to go over the video with the uh, explosion when it starts happening. I need to move all these fires and smoke so that they happen later on in the video when there's not set it right there. No, I'm trying to eat too. Then let's see if this is timed right now. No. Oh yeah, I forgot. I need to set this to add to review. No, what the Okay, where's the explosion going to happen? When is it going to happen? There. And then once the explosion happens, you're going to want to move this back, right to right there, and then bring it up a little bit so that it's not really showing, and then set it right there so that when you go forward, it looks like that's blowing up dust like that, especially on a field like mine. It will look really good. And then technically, all you need to do is press Control A. Layer, pre-compose, type it, explosion, sorry, this uh, tutorial is really bad, I'm sorry, it's just that, I, I, it's been a while since I've done this tutorial, and then you'll have your explosion in one separate, one, one, once complete, just one file, two, thumbs up if you liked it, comment, and subscribe if you, if you want more future videos in the future. Thank you for watching and